I really like this roll around workbench slash coffee table slash storage area. Really, really comes in handy when you need to do stuff. How's it going, Chris here? There are a ton of videos out there on how to change the oil on these Honda EU2000 inverter generators. So I'm not going to you know, get, get into that. But I did watch a whole bunch of them to hopefully learn a few tricks of the trade and to do this properly. And I thought I you know, was smart on it and I did it. And I made a huge freaking mess in my garage. Uh, and it the, the one thing that I learned is that uh, there's an oil fill valve in here that uh, you, know, you check the oil and the fill it and everything that is, I don't know if it's just a bad design or whatever, but uh, I really don't like it. And if I had something that could have really helped out with this right here, I would have been much better off. So I got online and found these guys on Amazon. And there's, there's a couple videos out there on these things, but uh, I got them. And this is the first time uh, trying to put these things in. So let's take a look here and see if they fit. Ugh. And when I change the oil in this thing, <laughs> I should have had my butt kicked. See how it's spewing out there a little bit? That's okay. Uh, that's, a, that's one thing I learned about these Hondas is that uh, you can't really overfill them because it goes right up here to the fill line where the uh, threads are right there and that's it. As long as it's flat, you're good to go. So this little billet aluminum... Okay, this has a uh, magnetic tip on it. See there? And it's supposed to pick up any, you know, engine iron particles or whatever. Let's see if it fits on here. Oh wow, look at there. Perfect. Sweet! Yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. I like that. Okay, and this here, this little fill tube. Let's see if this fits. It's real good. And there you have it. If you get a little funnel, so make this job ten times freaking easier. But there's one thing that I know is going to happen with this extension is I'll end up probably freaking losing it. So I need to be just tie strap it onto the handle here. Yeah, I think I might do that. But okay, let's put this back on here. Like that. Good to go. Mission accomplished. Pretty easy, huh? And one thing I did while I was in here, of course, is check the air filters. There's two of them in here. They look really good. And also drain the float right here. This little tube right here. So there's no fuel in the float. You know for storage and then you of course you turn it back up uh, so it doesn't drain fuel in there but yeah it's going to take a few more cranks to get this thing started because there's no gasoline in the fuel valve fuel float there so okay all right i'm back i got these for my solar panels out back these are beetle wraps 12 inches long I'm going to see how this is going to work. This is just to store the filler extension here. 
just pop it through here like this. See if it all 